This is Drom Shekasuto. Thanks for watching. Hey guys, how are you doing? Bo Hashem. We're all doing the best that we can. And, uh, you know, we go through so much, so many times in life, and I just like. I got this uh, understanding that that every moment is 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 a moment of 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 a revolution of a revealing. It's a it's a moment that new, fresh, and pure water are coming from within and and clear certain things in your mind and clarify them and helping you to grow and to understand and every moment you get some other spark in life in every situation and it's a pity not to share it's like we go through so much every day and in the end of the day you find yourself talking to your friend or to your partner or to yourself or to Hashem for a couple of minutes you find the power to do something with it but in reality the water are are coming up from within all the time like in every second in every moment there are more understandings and 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 i know that the the way that i feel the way that i speak the way that i express myself helps a lot of, a lot of people and many people find it uh, encouraging and and um, yesterday in class in uh, in Basewater, Farakway, New York, a person came to me and he told me I watched I start um, watching your videos two days ago and I and then I saw that you you're coming to to this area so I decided to to come and he said and you're a very wise man so like thank you whatever but then I told him you know when when I said something that you found it clever that you like that wisdom it's really because that this wisdom connected to your way of thinking it's really reminded you of something that you thought of or that it's completed a certain process that you already started to go through in your own mind in your own thoughts right so he said yes so i told him so basically you recognized your own wisdom in my speech in my words the things that i'm going through in my life even though that like for me it's incredible that a person is going through so much and he's uh, holding on and he's surviving and it's uh, it's really incredible like we're going through so much and and it's not easy it's really not easy but i can see from the comments and from people that i i see that i met like thousands and thousands of people already in this process of of tshuva and teaching and i see that there is nothing so special in my journey compared to other people's journey like everyone are going through their own things like everyone are facing challenges and difficulties and like i said yesterday in the class i said it's true you go through so much and really it's so important and no one is disrespecting your path and and your progress and your process of, of awakeness and your ups and downs and no one's saying that it's not important but just for a moment take yourself out of your bubble and realize that someone else, let's say me, let's say him, let's say her, let's say your neighbors, let's say someone in in Mexico, in Pakistan, someone in, in England, someone in Australia, someone in the Holy Land, and not someone, like millions of individuals are going through life. And like really, she's waiting for him on a date and he's not coming, and he's waiting for her to call and for days she's not calling, and 
he's already 54 and he doesn't see a way for them to get married for him to get married and she's waiting another like whatever and they don't have children and they are like thinking finally to divorce and he just lost his business and she lost her husband and he lost his daughter and like and they're talking Chinese and they're talking um, German and they're talking Hebrew and they're talking English and they're talking English in Australian accent and he's talking English in British accent and they have Irish accent and like and you're talking about hundreds of millions of people and everyone are going through life like everyone are facing challenges and everyone are going through ups and downs and and the spirits and the souls and and the emotions, the feelings that everyone are going through are so deep and so important. And it's so easy to, to drown in your own bubble and to think, oh, I'm so poor, like, why do I need to go through that hell? And I'm suffering so badly and like, I'm so sick and I'm, I'm all alone, I'm separated, now I don't have money. I don't know what to do, like, I, I hear you, I understand, no one is disrespecting that, but, but can you imagine what I go through? Like, do you know what, what my wife go through? You know, you know, my neighbor, what, what's going on in his life? Like, so what's the use? Why, why are we talking about it? We're talking about it to understand that our awakeness is supposed to be to recognize reality and to climb out from our own selfishness, from being so focused in our own issues, and to try to figure out a way how to access to other people and to help them as well. I know that I'm taking all the pain and all the challenges and all the effort and all my life experience, and I try to make something useful out of it. I'm not only sharing the highest and inspiring moments of my life hey I just received a lollipop by mail no not only those moments I'm also sharing the hardest hours not maybe the hardest hardest hours but like you know you have you have hours that you're not able to talk you can uh, you can barely think but we're trying to be honest, you know, we're trying to talk about everything and we care about every every person and we try to help people with with their struggles and to share from the bottom of our hearts. People are facing difficulties and it's much more important for us to go and to try to climb out of our own cells, out of our own um, prison and exile of separation that uh, then to climb out from those troubling moments of of ourselves as individuals to that high and general understanding of our unity as public as a family you know I'm trying to talk about it all the time. I spoke yesterday about Moses and sorry my hands are shaking the camera is uh, moving didn't brought my tripod barely barely dragged myself to this corner in the house to to speak today I was supposed to give a class in Williamsburg and people shown up and came to the class and I was not able to leave the house my car didn't uh, turn on couldn't turn on my car couldn't drive try to to find a ride but couldn't do that try to catch an uber but it was too complex and and too late already and I had to cancel the event and for me it's a very it's a very hard thing for an example and just 15 minutes before I sat with my wife that I love her so much and she's such a huge help in my life and such a such a good friend really there's no words to to describe our friendship and and how 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 amazing it is 
we have years of of sacrificing and helping to each other and i'm i'm learning from her so much it's like it's impossible to understand like she for sure like people say my better half like with no doubt she's she's holding such a a holy soul inside and and i i cannot even start to explain the the amazing thing that uh, that is going on between us it's like for sure with no doubt all the fruits and everything that you enjoy from my speeches is is by the merit of of our shalom our peace our shalom bait our our emotional spiritual development things that we're going through together so like 15 minutes before i went out to to drive to take the car and to drive to the class so i i sat and and i told her like in every moment of my life like i i experience a disappointment like every every moment and and it's it's true i desire so much like i want so much like my dreams are above above heaven above the sky like there's no end to my dreams to my holy desires to my to my amazing will to do good and to make change and changes in the world with with no end and all the time we're facing difficulties all the time everything is is going so hard like in every moment like it's not it's not easy it's not easy I want to say you can't imagine but I'm sure that you like I said before you can imagine like you can imagine with no doubt because like I see the friends one after the other all those guys that I see that they are watching everyone that joined this live video uh, until now I know you guys like I know every single one of you and I'm like everyone are going through their hell everyone are going through their challenges those are suffering from a those are suffering from b those are going through their issues those are facing those problems like i see your faces and like you're smiling on facebook your profile picture are, are smiling <laughs> I, i my picture is smiling as well but we're all facing hard hours and difficult hours and it's not simple and you can imagine you can imagine how it is and right after i told her that that like i'm i'm facing those disappointments like so many times and and so many hard and difficult hours and then i jumped into the car like all right i'm going to do it i'm going to drive i'm going to go i'm going to make it and 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 Hashem brings another challenge and Hashem brings another obstacle and you need to face it and and you need to figure out okay what should i do should i jump above this barrier should i like i'm going to do this i'm going to do that i'm whatever sorry to to trying to 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 figure out what's the right way and okay so i'm calling a friend and he's not able to come but he's willing and he's saying yeah i'll drive i'll come it's going to take me half an hour and it's already late and and uber and whatever and sometimes you just need to to accept whatever you go through and to try to figure out the truth about your your place your level and about your faith and to work with yourself on 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 stabilizing your spirit your mind your soul I'm I'm a, I'm a very very strong person. I'm a very powerful person. I never I like I barely ever give up. Like I I always continue. Like many people knows me for years like I'm working so hard like it's it's amazing and not only me. 
I'm saying I because I'm sharing my thoughts, I'm sharing my path, but there are many, many heroes out there, people that you can recognize their enormous power, that you can see their greatness. Yesterday when I spoke about Moses and, and his wife, Tzipora, and I'm thinking about myself and I'm thinking about my wife and can you imagine this crazy dedication of like my wife like how much she's giving and how much she gave like for me to go and teach and we left our home in Israel and also in Israel years that we lived in a in a such a such a ghetto, such a such a close and 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 narrow-minded, orthodox neighborhood that it was not our place. Like we never meant to, in the nature of our souls, of our spirits, like we were not from that place at all. Twelve years we lived over there, and. For my wife, it was such a challenge, and she gave her spirit, she gave her soul, she gave everything for that. She literally gave everything to raise the children and to take care of everything because of my dream, because of my hope, because of my vision, because of my, my destiny. And she's supporting it always, and to move from one tiny house to the other, and for hours every day that I'm going to sit and learn Torah and at night I would go and distribute books of faith and Torah and trying to find money and then at late nights going to do it Bodhiduyot and you cannot imagine how much he sacrificed you cannot imagine how much I sacrificed you can, like no one can understand no one can ever dream about it really really to understand what we went through, it's impossible. And then to cross the country here in the US, six times we fly from Israel to the US for, for me to, to, in the first tours, to teach. First Two times I went without my family, without my wife and the kids, and then she had to stay with five boys in our house. <laughs> like, have you ever done that? <laughs> A woman with five kids, homeschool. In the beginning, they were not homeschool, so she had to take them to schools, and you know the adventures of five boys in school, in religious schools. It's not simple school system is not simple and in Israel school system is not simple and religious school system is not simple and with our children it's not simple and she dealed and again and again and again so twice I went for two weeks to the US and then we saw that it's too much and I felt that she will somehow will enjoy travel with me and we we figured out ways every time in a different way how to pay for those tours and all the family like always were together and we fly together for another four times to the US and we traveled like crazy like with five boys with five suitcases sleeping in friends houses in cheap hotels went to colombia with uh, with another couple of friends that were with us came to colombia to a certain resort to make a shabbaton in colombia there was no showers no hot water cockroaches there were plenty the food was not kosher we barely were able to eat in Shabbat. Almost nothing was kosher. And it wasn't the last time, you know. After we did it, we did it again. And after we did that, we did that again. 
And then we moved to the States without our families. And my wife, she's far from her parents, far from her sister, far from her brother, far from her friends, far from her language, from her homeland, from, from, from everything that is familiar. And it's not that we want to go back. We don't, we don't have, you don't, you don't, you don't understand, uh, maybe. But maybe that's only the way I say it. But we don't have a home. We don't have a house. We don't have where to go back to. Like, we don't have anything. We only have ourselves. We have ourselves and we have you guys. We have our students. That's what we have. We don't have anything. We don't have a house, we don't have a home, we don't have, we don't have, we're, we're with you, we're, we're here, we're just like, we're going through our life, we're trying to do the best we can with our time, with our money, with, with, with the power that Hashem gives us. We dedicate everything, we bring up and uplifting every single thing to Hashem as a sacrifice, everything. We're burning every penny that comes in, we burn every hour that we receive from heaven to do good. Sitting and illustrating and writing books and making videos and editing them and putting them online and all social media and paying payrolls to people to help us to distribute and people are working in the company and everyone are being paid so so such small amounts, so tiny amounts of money and we're all like sacrificing and dedicating hours and days and months and years. And it's not easy. It's not easy. But like I said before, we need to climb above, out of our bubble, and to remember that there are people out there that are enjoying our life experience and our wisdom the wisdom that that we find from life, our conclusions, our understandings, the light that is shining from within, our souls, who we are. So we must, we're obligated, we're obligated to you guys, we're your friends, we are your family, and you're ours, we're all together. I want you to believe in yourselves. I bless you with that. That's the most powerful and strongest blessing I can I can give you. To believe in yourselves and to know that you are great, that you are amazing, that you are important, that there is no one similar to you in the world, no one like you. There is no one like you, no one. And don't think bad about yourself because it's not an option. Today I... I cried again, like, I, I cry a lot, and uh, maybe sometimes too much, maybe sometimes not enough, but, and I said to my wife, you know, it's like, it's so easy to blame yourself always on, on, on everything, it's always you blame yourself, everyone are like that, it's not, I'm not unique in that. All the time you blame yourself. And I said to my wife today, I told her, like, it's so easy to blame yourself, but it's not my fault. I haven't done anything. Like, we're doing the best we can. We are. We are doing the best we can. We are, with no doubt. Like, big time. <laughs> big time. We're doing the best we can. Big time. The best we can big time with no doubt it's a pattern it's it's a negative way of thinking to blame yourself we I, I like i haven't done anything like i'm 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 doing the best i can big time <laughs> you're getting it the lesson is for you guys it's for you stop it stop blaming yourself stop being negative and thinking what have i done a friend of mine, a student, came yesterday to the class and he told me, I'm not making money, I'm trying, I have a business and it's closing and I have a deal and I want it and I hope to and I need and whatever. I don't know what am I doing wrong. You're not doing nothing wrong. You wake up in the morning and you try to talk to people and you try to sell your products and you do the best you can 
And money doesn't come. It, it's not your fault, brother. It's not your fault. Sister, it's not your fault. It's not our fault. You're doing the best you can. What do you want? Why we need to be in this prison that we are creating to ourselves, blaming and killing ourselves with our negative thoughts. Get rid of those patterns. Break them. Break those chains. This is how you go out of Egypt. The Egyptians are those ones that makes the space narrow. They're blocking your sides. They're blocking the view. They force you to build walls for your own prison. Don't do that. Don't build and don't create your own prison. Be a true sparrow. Be a true sparrow. Rebel. I call you to rebel. I call you to fight the system. I call you to fight to fight religion, I call you to fight your parents, I call you to fight your rabbis, I call you to fight your husbands, I call you to fight everyone, I call you to fight your fears, I call you to fight everyone. We must stop being so poor in our minds, oh no, I'm me, I need to forgive, I need to forget, I need... Not always. Sometimes. Sometimes. Check. Where are you coming from in your thoughts? Are you being positive? Are you, are you, are you just hitting and, and being harsh on yourself for no reason? Like, where are you coming from? What's going on with you? If you're good, you're good. If you're doing the best you can, you're doing the best you can. And you need to believe in yourself. It is a crazy world. It is a world of destruction. This is of distractions. It's a world of 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 illusions. World that is full of illusions that makes us forget our true identity. How beautiful and gorgeous and awesome and fantastic with good and pure intentions we are. How sensitive and Beautiful, beautiful we are, beautiful, beautiful, we're beautiful. We are beautiful souls and we're being destroyed by negativity in our own mind. And when you are destroying yourself with your negativity, by that you let other people control you with their negative mindset. But if you will stop being so harsh and hard on yourself, when someone will try to be like that on you, you're just not going to let him do that. You're just going to stop him and tell him, hey, 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 no, 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 no more. Sorry. I'm not going to take that anymore. As long as you're punishing and, and, and hitting and blaming yourself, you're a victim in your own mind. So when someone tries to make you a victim, so you let him because... I, uh, like, uh, yeah, he's right. I am bad. I am, I am wrong. I am awful. I am a disappointment. But if you're going to climb above that mindset of being negative and sad and broken and depressed, so you won't let your enemies control you anymore. You'll be above them. You're going to overpower all your fears. And that's our mission. I call you to wake up, to be positive to find true hope, to support each other, to support yourselves, to support our project, to help us to share and to distribute the light to the world, that everyone will know the truth, that we're not poor, that we're strong, that we're powerful, that we're amazing, that we're beautiful. And I'm not talking about Jewish, and I'm not talking about Am Yisrael, and I'm not talking about no one, I'm talking about everyone talking about animals, I'm talking about deers in the forest, I'm talking about every single gray bird that crossed the sky above your head. I talk about everyone, I talk about the walls, the walls, you're beautiful, ceiling, you're beautiful, the sky is beautiful, earth, puddles are beautiful, gorgeous, every leaf, every crumb of, of, of chametz, you're beautiful. You're chamud. You're sweet. <laughs> we love you. We like you. We love everything. Because everything holds life in it. And we 
are life lovers. We love life. So keep on loving life, support life, and bring out the beautiful life that lives inside of you. And let the world enjoy your treasures. And don't back off from the amazing work you did until today. And keep on shining to the world. And I'm going to try to go and help my wife finish cleaning things for Pesach. Enjoy life. Hashem will bless you. We all together in it to win it. And we'll see what will be our next step. Be well. Good night. We hope you enjoyed this video very much. Please now remember to subscribe and like this video and share it with your friends to help spread faith in the world. For more, please visit amuna.com. May your light shine always and your requests should be answered with the greatest blessings. Amen.